Hey guys, we are a part of your TA team. I'm Kyla. I'm Alex. And today Alex is walking around with all these groceries. Are these for dinner, Alex? Yes, they are. Well, did you know they all have something in common? What's that? Um, they actually all are related to fungi, one way or another. No way. Yeah. So, bread actually uses yeast, which is a type of fungi. Mushrooms are a type of fungi. And then the cheese, again, uses another strain of fungi called penicillium. Amazing. I guess fungi is on dinner tonight. Yes, it is. <coughs> so, Carla, what's this week's lab about? Well, this week we're going to be looking at fungi. Um, we're going to talk about the four different types of fungi. We're going to talk about the life cycle. And hopefully you guys were able to get us some fungi from your houses because we're going to look at that later today as well. So let's look at some of the basic characteristics of fungi. Well, like plants and animals, they too have a nucleus that makes them eukaryotic. And it was originally thought that fungi are just like plants. First of all, because they have a cell wall. But the fungi cell wall is made of chitin. Also, just like plants, fungi are non-motile. And lastly, fungi have a similar all cell also structure to plants. But Alex, did you know that recent molecular evidence has shown that fungi are more like animals? That's because they're heterotrophic. Um, they do not need sunlight to grow, which is why you find mold in your fridge. They can grow in the dark. Also, they do not have a photosynthetic process. So they rely on other, they rely on other sources of carbon and energy. And they do this by secreting enzymes. Athlete's foot is an example where the fungi grow on your skin and work inwards to digest the nerves. There are two growth forms of fungi. Unicellular, which is yeast, which makes this bread that I bought, or multicellular filamentous forms known as mycelia. Mycelium are made up of filamentous, and filamentous are made up of hyphae. These hyphae are, separate, are separated by septa. In lab six, there will be four phyla that we'll be looking at in the kingdom of fungi. The first one is the ascomycota. Asco standing for ascus, and ascus means um, cup-shaped. Next is Basiliomycota. Basiliomycota have gills, and these gills are club-shaped. An example of Basiliomycota are these mushrooms I bought. Our next group is Chytridiomycota. They have flagella. And our last group is Zygomycota. Zygomycota is that smelly, stinky bread that you have at home sometimes. A simple way of remembering all four phylas is remembering how you learned the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But instead this time, it's A, B, C, Z. So A stands for Ascomycota. B stands for Basiliomycota. C stands for Chytridiomycota. And Z is your Zygomycota. So if you thought you were done with alternation of generations, I'm sorry to say, but you are sadly mistaken. Fungi can choose to reproduce asexually. Sometimes they choose sexually, but sometimes they may alternate between the asexual and the sexual reproduction cycles. Um, mycelium, under the right conditions, will produce sporangia, which are your spore-producing structures. And those structures will give rise to spores. The spores germinate, usually under wet conditions. So the fall, spring, your fridge um, are great conditions for germination of fungi. And they just produce more mycelium. The time, under certain conditions, they may choose sexual reproduction. And that happens when two different strains of fungi or two different nuclei fuse during plasmogamy and karyogamy to form a diploid zygote. The zygote then, under certain conditions, will again produce another fruiting body. In the case of Ascomycota, this fruiting body is called an ascus. In the case of Basidiomycota, it is called a mushroom. And that fruiting body then gives rise to more haploid spores, or myospores. And the myospores go on to produce mycelium. Again, they may choose to reproduce asexually, or if the conditions are right, they will go the sexual route. Okay, guys, there's your Fungi 101. We'll see you in class, and make sure you bring your plates.